Hey everybody, Laura St. John here with the Happiness Workshop. I've got some never seen before content that is ready to be dished to you. I've been going through it. It's so exciting here. Um, you know, you don't need a reason to be happy, but you need a reason to be unhappy. And yet happiness is like a light topic and it's the most complex, deepest topic on the planet. So you know me by now, if you've been following me, some of you for years here, I like to go deep. And I also love happiness as a topic because I think it drives everything. I think it drives so much of how we exist on this planet, um, so much of how we go about our day. And I'm going to share with you in this workshop one of my very favorite tools that I've trained people, whether I'm working with an 11 year old elite gymnast, a top CEO, a celebrity here trying to land a role in a part on a TV show, whatever it is. Um, I'm gonna share with you one of my top happiness tools that I love to use with anybody and everybody. So let me know again in the chat where you're coming in from. Introduce yourself to one another. And again, if you're brand new, if you're getting this live, thank you. Thank you for carving the time and space to be here with me live. If you're watching this later on replay, on our YouTube channel, on our website, wherever this may live, I believe in no coincidences. Trust in yourself. Trust in the process. Stuck is just a feeling. And in this happiness workshop is the first time I've ever laid out a topic specific to this role, <laughs> happiness. I, if you have been taking my mindset classes, if you're a member inside of my classes where you roll up your sleeves and you already do my mindset work with me, you know that happiness is embedded into so many of our lessons because so much of happiness is where do we give our happiness away? Where do we give it away to food? And we give the power it over to food, right? And emotional eating. Where do we give it away to other people or relationships or things outside of ourselves? Where do we give that power of happiness? Where do we hand the keys that's driving our own happiness over to other things? Whether it's a willpower struggle, whether it's you know trying to adopt a new healthy attitude or hack or workout routine. So those of you who have been with us know that this is, again, a very complex topic that is woven in um, to everything that we do at Strong Confident Living. So if you're brand new to me, I'm Laura St. John. I'm a co-founder at Strong Confident Living. We help people up spiral their lives. What that means is we all know and can relate to a down spiral. We help you shift out of it, not in 21 days, not in six months, not in a year, but we believe that there can be immediate shifts with simple practices in how you live your everyday life, right? The small and mighty moments of your everyday that can literally flip your life from a down to an up. You can only be going in one of two directions at any time, okay? At any given time, you are either on the down or on the up. So my job as a mindset coach is to help you push your thoughts to new limits during this workshop on how you see happiness, on maybe ways that you've never thought about it before, okay? So let's get started. Again, make sure you have paper. I love blank paper, a pen. And because we're going to put pen to paper, we are going to roll up our sleeves. We are going to get to work, okay? And you know, many of you come to me and you're like, Laura, I can't feel happy because, and usually you're bringing me your problems list. Let's just be honest. <laughs> usually you're bringing me like, this is what's wrong in my life. Help me fix it. And you know, someone even asked me the other day, like, do you fix people? And I'm like, no, I give you the tools so you can fix your own problems. One of the greatest tools I can give you is the ability to see past them. Happiness is the fuel. I'm just gonna start dropping bombs, so be ready. Happiness is the fuel to see past them faster. Once you see past them, you have a new perspective on your life and your situation and your problems. They feel different and you step into your everyday differently. And not only that, it accelerates you to your goals. So happiness is the fuel that gets you there faster. And the more and more, that's why I wanna teach you an everyday tool that I teach everybody. And I'm doing this free workshop so you can share this along with as many people as possible because I believe everyone deserves that the tool that I'll be teaching. I have 111 mindset classes in our mindset classes, right? And happiness, this ha the happy list that I'm gonna work with you on, not only how to make it, but then how to use it in a daily practice on how to snack on happy, 
how to make it a daily practice to vibe at happy as much as possible is to help you manifest your dreams and goals and the life you want faster. That is my job and I do it really well. I've done it with tons of people. I've done it with thousands of people, but I do it with all ages, all abilities, all goals, all backgrounds and all of that, okay? And it, I know it's part of my purpose here is because once I flip it, it, it makes me extremely happy. So I'm just gonna own that selfishly right now that it makes me extremely happy when I get your messages and when I get your emails saying, OMG, Laura, because of this, I felt lighter about my day to day. And this is now my new perspective. And here's how my life changed. And I'll share with you some of those testimonials, but just know that that is the secret sauce too, that every single one of you and your struggles are inside this content with me. This is like a living, breathing thing together. Okay, I'm with you, you're with me, you're in my heart. And the more I hear your struggles, help you flip it, help you tap into more happiness, your struggle becomes the next person's inspiration. And that's how this thing glo glows. <laughs> that's how this thing grows and glows, okay? So let's just write some of these things down as they have meaning for you. For, but if not, just listen and absorb this information in this workshop and come back to the recording later because it's, again, there's some depth to this that's gonna maybe sometimes strike you as whoa, okay? As really whoa, just like it struck me when I learned these things, okay? Then I started practicing these things. So, you know, when people are like, how do you know these things? And I'm like, I, you know, between my sister Kat Dunn, who is like, you know, who we collaborate on all the content together, my husband Scott, who, you know, we collaborate on the content together, and the three of our heads together, opening our hearts saying, what do we actually want to do in this world? We want to help the whole world up spiral. I don't think that's a difficult feat. I think it's about getting an army of people, all of you together, doing it together, standing in your happiness together. Happiness is not this la-di-da thing. Okay, I posted that on my Instagram today. It is, it could be light and ah, ha ha happy, like the pink dress makes me happy, birds chirping makes me happy, yes. But it's also deep. How do you hold your happiness despite the struggles you're feeling? That takes a ton of strength that comes from a ton of love. And I'm here to show you a pathway into that. Okay, so write this down. Happiness is not a thing. It's not a thing. It is a feeling. It is a feeling. And I'm going to share with you proven techniques on how it works. Okay, literally, like, it's not just this is science. This is a feeling. You know, science can now prove feelings. They can now prove thoughts. They can measure these things. You can measure. And, I, and you don't even need science to measure how happy you are. Like, you know, inherently, whether you're having a great day or a not so great day, whether you're having an ick moment or a beautiful positive moment. And I'm here to remind you that all of those feelings are inside you right now. And you have the choice in any given moment to tap into greater happiness, okay? So I'm gonna teach you how to do all those things. So maybe you're here and I'm gonna just list out some of the things that I had emailed you about. So let me know if these resonated with you. Maybe you're here because you're literally just like, Laura, teach me some simple strategies. I just wanna be happier every day, right? Sign me up, okay? Maybe you're here because happiness feels close to you, but you're not quite there yet. Okay. You're like, I just, I, I feel it or I feel blah or ick. I don't you know wherever you are. Maybe it feels extremely far for you. Maybe you've never really, you're not sure. Sometimes I deal with people who have had such traumatic experiences in their past. They're like, I don't know if I've ever felt happy. Like, I don't even know. I, you're telling me it's my most natural state. I can't even remember a time where I've been happy. And I'm here to let you know again that you were born happy and it is your most natural state. And perhaps you've had a lot of experiences, but you know, again, we're going to work on those things, but maybe you're here because you're not sure about the feeling and you want to like, be like, is that it? Is that, is that joy? Is that happiness? Cause it's calm. It's not like a, a whoosh, like anger, or other feelings that are so, you know, you, you know, when you're angry, it's a whoosh. Happiness is a calm feeling and joy is a calm feeling. And sometimes it's like being more consciously aware of it. So I'm going to help you tap into that. Um, you know, maybe that you are like, I'll feel more happiness, Laura, when you can help me fix this giant problem, <laughs> right? Maybe that's you. Like if this condition can change in my life, if he would just do this or she would just do that or my boss would just do this or my coworkers would just do that or this money situation or this relationship or my body or whatever, 
okay, whatever it is that you feel is blocking it, a condition in your life, you're like, when this condition changes, then I'll allow myself to feel happy. Maybe that's you. Okay, that's really common. And I'm here to, to, to show you a, how, a way around that, which is, which is complex and simple, again, at the same time. Okay, but I love that. Uh, maybe you're here because, again, that somewhere along the way, you had a really tough, giant problem in your life. And therefore, because that thing made you feel unhappy, you were like, well, if blank makes me feel unhappy, then the lack of blank or something else must make me feel happy. So happiness became conditional. So imagine that, okay? Just think of something maybe that you have had a tough struggle with. And I'm gonna tell you, you know, I see a whole bunch of you again, attendees, panelists, a bunch of you, just think about this. Think about a tough thing and you were like, that was clear. That made me really unhappy. So the, the, if I didn't have that, I must be happy. So as soon as we have these experiences, we think that the happiness is hap happening because you know we're experiencing these things that are outside of us sometimes that we absolutely cannot control. But what I'm here to share with you is that happiness is actually a dial that's always within your control despite those things, okay, despite those things. So we're gonna bust that myth again, happiness is no longer conditional for me. I can choose to be happy despite anything going on in my life. It is a light switch that I wanna choose to turn on more and not give anyone or any situation or anything outside of me my dimmer switch. No one holds my dimmer switch but me. And when you recognize that these like hardships and struggles that are literally there to turn off the light are coming to you to turn off the light, right? Negative energy, positive energy. You are like, oh, I mean, I can control this. And then you feel extremely powerful. So I'm gonna help you do that. Okay, I'm gonna help you, help you, help you do that. So another problem before we get to the, some of the fixes is that a lot of people feel because it's conditional that I cannot allow it in. Like, I can't feel happy, Laura, until I lose that 15 pounds. I can't feel happy until this relationship makes this shift. I can't feel happiness until blank. And I'm here to let you know, where's my ding, ding? And then I ding, ding, ding them, that that pushes that thing back further. Okay, if you feel the lack and you're like, I can't feel happy and you're not flexing it, like I can't allow myself until this really big thing is resolved, then I'll feel happy. You are creating a wall to that light switch that you can access right now, okay? So again, these are all fixable. So I'm just speaking to the audience. So if you're like, ding, 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 that's me. Oh, oh yeah, I do that. Or, oh, I do that. Um, I want you to recognize that that, again, you're normal, you're human. We all have ups and downs. We all feel unhappy at times. We all feel happy. Can you imagine if we all felt happy 24 seven? We wouldn't know. Well, first of all, we wouldn't be human, <laughs> but we wouldn't know what happiness feels like without feeling the other side too. And for those of you who have really struggled deeply, you will be able to, you feel both sides even more, you know, like dramatically, more dramatically, but everyone deserves it. Every single human on this planet deserves it. And that is why I'm doing this free workshop because I know in my heart, because I'm a happy person, okay, and that I've been brought up in a happy way that every single human on this planet deserves to feel a greater level of happiness. And sometimes you just might need to hear it from someone else who believes it's inside you when you don't feel it yourself. Allow that to be me if that's you. Okay. Allow that to be me if that's you. This again. Sorry, there we go. You need to write down if you're one of those people, I deserve it. I deserve happiness. No matter what I've endured, no matter what I've been through, no matter what my current problems are, no matter what's on my problems list right now that I'd love to bring Laura St. John, I deserve the greatest level of happiness. And if that's too much of a stretch for you, write, 
I deserve to feel happier. And I am in control of my happiness. Happiness is my number one job in life. Learning what makes me ha feel happy, learning to maintain my happiness, and then sharing it with others. Those are the three things that I weave into all of our mindset classes, guys. Not just what makes you happy, what turns it up inside you. How do you go from that motivation to inspiration? All the lessons that are in our mindset classes. Where do you give that away? How do you capture it back? But the bigger piece of that, which is once you recognize what makes you happy, which is what we're going to work on with our tool, that that's your number one job all day to maintain it, which is the challenge. That's life. What curveballs are getting thrown your way? What unexpected things in disguise are getting tossed at you that when you're at a greater level of happiness, you can knock them out of the park, okay? And then to share it with others, laughing with your kids, like having fun with friends and family, like being able to share happiness, to exude and, you know, our lessons inside that our mindset classes on projecting success and not dimming your light, like being able to share that, it ooze that out. But it all starts with a belief that as a human being, this is my natural state. I deserve it. I deserve to feel happy no matter what's on my problems list, no matter what's weighing me down right now. I deserve a free pass in this moment to create my more to, to create my happier self. Because sometimes people feel that there's such big things on their shoulders, especially if it relates to other people that you love, that are, you maybe are enduring a lot of pain or loss. That you're like, I can't possibly feel happy. Like it would, it would actually just be wrong of me to feel happy. And I'm sure that everyone who loves you wants to see you happy. You are doing everyone an honorable service by stepping up into your happiest self. The world, can you imagine the world filled with happy people who just know how to fill their own happiness up without needing it from other people? We would be in a much different place. So that's part of the role here. It is our job, okay? It is our number one job, absolutely. So let's roll up our sleeves, take out the piece of paper. We're gonna actually get to work on the number one tool that is so simple again, again, whether I'm, it doesn't matter who I'm working with, we are going to create a happy list. So just take out the piece of paper right on top, my happy list. Once that's written down, okay? When you start to like think about, I deserve to be happy. Happiness is my number one job. And you can hear the negative voices in your head being like, yeah, but remember this when you messed up here and did you mess up here? And, but what about this person? And how are you going to possibly be happy with this going on? If you already hear the chatter, please tell it to go sit in the corner, at least for this workshop. Okay. Bench it. It does not deserve to play. You can either be playing with negative energy and going against the struggle, allowing all those voices to get fuel, or you can be playing in a whole new space, which is loving on yourself, self-care, creation, where you're creating your next chapter. That's where I take you. And it is fun, okay? It is fun on a whole other level. So make sure those of you who practice, like everything's gotta be perfect in order for me to be happy. Everything's gotta look this way in order. Stop the conditions. Keep telling them every time they rise up and bubble or pop like popcorn in your head with these thoughts that for some reason, those are your weights pulling you down. Happiness is like a balloon rising up in the air. Those things are like weights pulling it down. Bench them, throw them in the corner, that easy. On your happy list, I want you to start thinking right now of the smallest things, the smallest things in your space right now, like look around your room. I have, this is a, like a really huge room that I'm in right now. <laughs> it's got ping pong. Look around your room right now. And I want you to stare at things and find things that make you happy because here's the dealio with the happy list. This is why it works so well. When you're tuned to happy, most, of, most people are trained, like I'm gonna look at my floor and either I'm gonna see my wood floor right now my wood floor here in my room. <laughs> I'm going to see my wood floor. And I could see the dirt. I could stare at the scratches. Like, oops. Just did, I did just scratch my wood floor. Oops. Or I could be like, 
I love the white molding. I'm training myself at all times to find things around me that are things that make me happy. So the happy list, I'm gonna teach you how it works and how to practice it and all this. But first thing I want you to do is go look around your room exactly where you are right now and find at least three things that could be like, that picture makes me happy, those curtains make me happy, the white molding makes me happy, the view outside my window makes me happy and start putting them on your happy list. Okay, that's just step number one, just start doing that. Once you do that, now I want you to think about three kinds of food that make you happy. List a couple of like your favorite foods that make you feel happy. Sushi, fish crackers, pizza, <laughs> anything, write them down. These are yours, this is your happy list, not mine. Lisa said, family pictures make me happy. Yes, all these things. Next, I want you to think about, um, don't just put people on your happy list. This is a good question I've gotten before because sometimes people might not make you happy. <laughs> so think of people you love, but think of something that you love doing like with that person that makes you happy. You know, like blasting the music with my kids in the car or walking with my friends on the beach or FaceTiming with a friend I haven't talked to in, you know, a year. Get specific and get detailed and start thinking of a few actions with a few people that you like or love and get them down on your happy list. Getting down on your happy list. Yes, playing at the beach. Absolutely. Now I want you to think of things outside your house or wherever you live right now um, that make you happy. Blue sky, birds chirping, green grass. Um, again, specific, but things that make you happy outside. These are things that you might want to see outside. Like for me, a long, a long long time, I wanted to see palm trees. Palm trees make me very happy. Okay. Um, think of things outdoors that make you happy. This is a fun one. Think of random things that make you happy. I wrote down like waking up before an alarm. I hate alarms. Uh, you know, getting green lights, snagging a parking spot. Like think of random things that like kind of just make you smile when they happen. I love that sweet smell of sagebrush. Love it. I love giving big tips to people for good service at restaurants, like when they least expect it. Like just those are things that like are so deserving on my happy list. Random acts of kindness, I love it. Anonymous things like that. Um, what about now your favorite things like purple, my favorite color, you know, nicely painted nail polish, feeling good. Um, what else makes you happy? Seeing a cardinal, Aww, I love that Serena. Take another minute and literally just fill the page 
up with as much as possible things that make you happy. It can be really giant things. It could be things that you don't have yet that you would love to manifest, a beach house, this car, um, anything that would make you feel happy. And this is your list. So this is not to please anyone else but you. This is literally something you can fold up. And when you put pen to paper, this is actually training your brain that you are owning these things. You, your hand is an extension of your heart. And when you write these things out, it, this, it goes beyond doing the visual representation like in a vision board or um, a Pinterest board. I really want you guys to just continuously let this out, let this loose on yourself right now, <laughs> literally like start being like, oh my God, and that makes me happy and this makes me happy. Keep looking around, keep thinking about people you love, keep thinking about activities you love to do, um, ways that you love to feel. Like I love to feel strong after a great workout. That makes me happy. I love to be done with a workout. D-O-N-E. That makes me happy, right? Think of all the things that make you feel happy. I love the feeling of stepping on an airplane when I'm about to visit, you know, family. That makes me happy. These little snippets. I love it. Someone getting a surprise. Pretty skies. Drinking coffee. Makes me happy. I love that. Thanks, Janet. I love when my sink is empty. <laughs> scroll up. Catherine. Sunrises, quiet mornings. You guys keep sharing. If you're like, keep filling your page, dump them in the chat. And then we'll continue our work. I will continue our work. Snuggles with my girls. Okay, this happy list is huge. How often in your day, unless you've been in my mindset classes a while, do you stop to snack on happy, to intentionally align yourself to your happiest self? How intentional, this is what I'm going to help you do right through our courses and stuff, how intentional do you get in, I'm going to build a life around my happy list. You guys, I've built my entire life around my happy list. I live like my life depends on my happiness because it does. Not only because it's the fuel that helps me create what I want to create and moves me out of sadness and all the negative emotions that are blocking happiness, but because I can consciously decide in my power on what I want to do next, despite struggle. I'm not saying I'm short of challenges. I'm just saying that I'm going to give you guys and continuously give you the tools inside our mindset classes, inside these workshops that will allow you to see past them. Because when you can see past them, you can create. And that is why for those of you who are struggling in such unhappiness or such blocks of anger, fear, frustration, pain, deep sadness, loss. I'm not here to diminish those things. I'm here to tell you that those are giant blocks. Those are giant blocks. And when you know that your happiness, okay, this is, this should be a huge ding, ding, ding. When you know that your happiness is there inside you, despite all those things, your life can change. Okay. It is completely unbelievably different because most people practice grumpy. They practice complaining. They've practiced because we, again, we imagine our life, like from the moment we're born, we're like, we got, we got to make our parents happy. We got to make the teacher happy. Like if you do this, this, you'll get this wrong or else, you know, and we learn, we think that happiness is conditional on all these people and all these things. Like I got to get this A, I got to do this. And we've trained ourselves to think in the negative. We've trained ourselves in the negative outcome. We've trained ourselves often as a society to look at the things that aren't working and fight against them. And I'm not saying that's wrong. I'm just saying that you, those are there for a reason. So you can recognize what you do not want, what you do, they're like, that does not make me happy. That does not make me happy. This problem, that problem, this thing, that thing. 
And you know, again, our mindset classes are full of other tools like the flip it list that helps you shift from if that doesn't make me happy, what does? So happiness is always embedded into the very first step that I ever give you, which is flip it. Flip it. Know what makes you unhappy through your life experiences so you can start to create what does make you happy. Okay. And I love that because if you start to think of it's not broken, it's not gone. It's just being blocked. It's being blocked by bigger emotions, anger, frustration, sadness, sorrow, you know, deep pain. That's a block. If you start to see those, I see them as cardboard boxes. If you start to see those things as boxes holding all those situations that you're going through that, again, I'm not here to diminish. I'm just here to say, just look around that block. And it's not that when this block, you know, yes, sometimes people are like, but Laura, the block was 15 pounds and I wanted to lose it. I crushed through it and now I feel happy. And I'm like, yes, sometimes it can help you, you know, crush through it to get there. But you still have to say, because it was there all along. When you understand that it's there all along, again, your life will shift and change because it's all gonna be about how can I get, how can I unblock it right now? Like I have a huge problem sometimes come my way and I'm like, huh, this sucks. I don't want this feeling. Yes, this can make me feel unhappy, but how am I gonna move around this? How am I going to recognize? Because I know it's trying to block my happiness. This big thing is trying to block my happiness. And my happiness blocks means that I can't create what I want to create in this world. So let me make sure I don't go there. And so now I'm going to teach you how I use the happy list to vibe and practice happy. Because once you say, you know, you know, people are like all the time when they come to me again, Lord, here's my problem. If this would just go away, here's why I don't feel happy. I'm like, I get you, I get you, but just put it in the box. That problem is there to help you rise into a greater version of you that is gonna become even happier despite that. What if that problem never goes away? Are you never gonna to choose to feel happy again? It, this is really in our courts and it's so, so huge. I love all the comments in the chat. I love seeing all the things that make you happy. Making people happy makes me happy. And if you are, for my givers in the house, I've got some stuff that is gonna be really deep for you in, in a minute, okay? But take a look at your happy list right now. Share some more in the chat and be like, happiness, again, not only is it my number one job, the ability to maintain it, and then being able to share this with others, circle the things on your page that are actually a shared experience. Like if it's watching a sunset, what about when it's watching a sunset with the people that you love? Look at the things in your happy list that are individual. You know, you could star those. Again, like this goes so much further. I'm gonna try and get, give you as much as I can in a one hour workshop. But I, when I tell you I build my life around my happy list and what I manifest from it, I'm telling you the absolute truth. Because there's the you that is struggling against unhappiness, exhausted, tired, stuck. And there's the you that looks at your happy list and you're like, I'm going to consciously create this life full of these experiences and these things. And guess what you're going to do? You're going to look at your happy list. And if it says blue skies make me happy, every single time I go outside, luckily here in Malibu, it's a blue sky almost every freaking day. And I go outside and I'm like, there's my blue sky. Thank you. And then I say, blue skies make me happy. Ultimately, I make me happy. I'm just reflecting myself in the blue sky. Now that's really deep, but you make you happy. Nothing actually makes you happy. So I actually further own it. <laughs> I like look at that. And I'm like, oh, the white molding. I like actually really love white molding around my rooms, like the crown moldings and these French doors, like my house is full of them. And I'm like, of course the split rail fencing. I'm like, that makes me so happy. I always wanted this farm fencing. Of course it's there. That makes me happy. I make me happy by knowing what makes me feel happiness when I see it. When you own that, you look outside and then suddenly you're like, that makes me happy. Thank you. Pat myself on the back. That makes me happy. And I go around planet earth being like, there's my swirl. There's my, you know, purple wall. 
I'll literally like, I just brought my sons to a golf a store a, a couple of weeks ago and it was this beautiful parrot. And every time I see red, vel I mean, a uh, purple velvet, which covered the cage, I'm like, purple velvet. I love it. For some reason, I have a purple velvet chair <laughs> behind me. I love it. And it's my favorite color. And I love velvet. And I'm like, oh, that makes me happy. Like every time I see it, I'm like, purple velvet makes me happy. If I see it in a store, if I see it at like a craft shop, if I see it on my chair. And I'm like, I'm, I got that chair for myself. I make me happy. Every time I choose happy over maybe looking at the mess on my desk or seeing the cord that I don't like or something with the outlet or electricity that's not working, then I vibe to complaining. I am blocking what I want to create and manifest. So when I talk to you guys about top 10 manifesting mistakes, how to speed up manifesting, all about your body image, like you have to do this with the outside world sometimes. And then when you take my body image courses and everything on the inside, you start doing this with yourself. When I look in the mirror and if you guys have taken the body image course, you know that it's like, do you take the mental to-do list on all the things you hate about your body when you look in the mirror? Or can you actually, even if it's nine out of 10 things that you don't like, can you zero in on the one that you love? I love my brown eyes. I love the dimple in my chin. I love my smile. I love when my hair like curls like a little bit versus being like, Ugh, I hate my hair today. I don't like those arms. Look at the flab on my belly. Look at this leg over here. You guys, this happy list, when I'm telling you that your entire life is created around it, you create yourself, you create your life, you can consciously create better. You can. Okay, you can. And so think about that and own it. So I want you to be walking around planet Earth in your little, you know, bubbles of wherever we live and be like, that makes me happy. That makes me happy. That there's my there's my son. Oh, there's my palm tree. Oh, there's my red notebook, whatever it is. And pull it in because it's on your happy list. I've because I've coached so many people, thousands over the last bunch of years. There's so many things on our happy list, like when I do individual you know, happy lists with people over the years that are so similar. We all like feel joy from, you know, nature and being with people we love and sunsets and good coffee and cozy sweatpants. And you'd be surprised how much similar we are. So I said, put this stuff on your happy list because it's really refreshing to see as humans that we all block happiness with negative emotion, but we can all tap into it further when we recognize it and create our lives around it. So I love doing this. Like even when I go in and talk, talk with kids and I see some kids on this broadcast and it makes me so, so happy. So, so happy. Who I see over there? Krista Snyder. And when I see children learning this, because children know, you know what makes you happy. You're like more in touch with it than, than us because as adults, we get all these layers of life that like just, you got to peel back to find this that's inside you right now. Okay, so it's normal again to come from your problems list to me, but like you need to turn your problems list into your wish list. And that's what we do in our courses, right? That's what we do when we say that everyone deserves this level of happiness. And, you know, kids are real. And it's just easy that you know what's real and not real to you. You know, real meaning your truth. You know what's true to you. You have a great radar for that. So go back to that version of you that you were like, because a lot of us, this was me. When I turned 40, I was like, I don't even know what makes me happy. <laughs> like I literally broke down in, into the unhappy side and the grumpy and complaining all the time. I didn't like my body. I didn't like my life. I didn't like my bank account and like relationships. Everything down spirals when you're unhappy. And that's why I'm telling you, I don't sit in there. I like I hardly remember that version of me, but it tries to come back every now and then. And I sit it back in the corner. And I say, thanks, but no thanks. That's not me anymore. That's not the person that's going to be in the direction to help other people gain more happiness in this lifetime. Okay. So just really think about that. And yes, I see someone saying watching the Olympics, like my whole path of mindset coaching started with coaching elite gymnasts and kids before I ventured into health, fitness, and helping people just get happy. All right. Let's put this to practice. I call this snacking on happy. 
literally snack on happy. How can you snack on happy all day long? And I want you guys to like hashtag the heck out of this whenever you're like recognizing that you see something in your reality that makes you unhappy. When you vibe to happy, you are helping yourself chip away at those bigger emotions. You are giving them less power. Everything that you create comes from your focused energy, your thoughts, and your actions. So the moment you are a letting a negative situation suck all that energy out, which you know, you know if you're not feeling happy. This is your ding, ding, ding moment. That is your moment to make the switch, right? That is your moment being like, what am I doing to work on my happy list right now? Not as an undoing to get out of happy, just as a resetting yourself. It's like re resetting your, your brain to, I need to be happy. Okay. Everyone's got problems less. If we all sat here and compared our different problems to one another, I don't know, like we'd all probably sometimes want our own problems back. <laughs> right? I've seen that where someone said, if you just throw all your problems up in the air, you might just snatch your back. Maybe not. And again, I'm not here to diminish. I'm just here to tell you all that you can still have the free pass for yourself, that you still deserve it. You still deserve these moments. So let's put it on rolling up our sleeves right now and be like, what else can you do to train your brain to practice happy? So it's a letting go, okay? It's a letting go of the, like, you're gonna catch yourself now. Just from this little, just from this one hour workshop, you're literally gonna catch yourself being like, Am I happy or unhappy? Like there's really only two choices. That's what I'm saying. You're either going up or you're going down. You're either going towards happy. You're going towards unhappy. Happy, you should write this down too. Happiness is a direction. It's not a place. So life is a string of moments strung together. And every moment you have a choice to choose happiness. Every moment. And that's all life is. It's now and it's now and it's now and it's now and it's now. And the more you tap into happiness, the more time becomes relative. It like flies. You know, like when you're doing burpees or a really hard workout and time goes really slow. <laughs> Somehow, sometimes when I'm in an advanced workout in our own programs and times like, I'm like, how is this not 30 seconds up? right? It's because you're suddenly feeling unhappy. It's draining. It's like, OMG, like, do I have another rep? Like, how is this possible? That is the opposite of happy, right? But then you're done and you're like, oh my God. And, but imagine when you're doing something you love and you're like, how'd that go so fast? Like 10 seconds of happiness versus 10 seconds of struggle. They're a very different 10 seconds. And that is the best way I can explain to you that's why it speeds up your manifesting because it's the same 10 seconds in linear time here on planet earth in our 3d world. However, you know, this is a quantum leap into an exponential happiness and positive life for yourself. And this is why things get really powerful and really creative because you putting your energy towards a self-care loving, let me create the life that I want, let happiness be the fuel that helps me create and manifest these things that are on my happy list, even if I don't have them yet, right? And then guys, this is one out of 111 tools. Like when and one of my favorite tools is like the things that sometimes don't exist yet, like they're on my happy list, other things that I don't have yet. But sometimes like when your brain's like, but how, but how, Laura, how are you gonna do that? How's happiness literally gonna like deliver that next beach house team or this amount of money or this cool relationship or whatever it is, right? I'm telling you happiness is the answer, but you got to sometimes fold the thing that you're like, but your brain's like, but how, how's happiness actually going to bring that to you? It's because when you are in joy, when you are vibing at the happiest possible being you can be, which is oozing outward, like there's electromagnetism to happiness. You walk into the room differently. The people that you're meant to connect with will somehow connect with you. Like I just fold those things that my brain's like, but how, but how? And it's like, well, by being happy, Laura. That's always my answer, by, by being happy. Stay happy. Do whatever I can do that's in my control 
which is always in my control to stay happy. And I turn off the problems literally like a light switch. Doesn't mean they don't exist. I'm just saying you cannot steal my happiness. No one can, nothing can, you cannot, okay? Because even when it involves people I love, I know again in their hearts, they would want me to be happy. So even if it's a like a really tough struggle with someone that I love, or again, when I help people like through pain or loss, it's like, but that person still would want you to be happy. And I know that's really hard to hear sometimes because you're so sad that it's blocking your happiness. But can you imagine it, that it's inside you right now and you don't have to turn it on and start like dancing on the table. Like it doesn't have to be that level of happy, but that you deserve an ounce of happier right now because you all do. Again, and, and it takes the pressure off. So make the happy list. And then I want you to create a happy plan, like this, my simple six meal plan. When I help you guys stop emotional eating, stop like the happiness struggle around food and having food control you, like anything that can suck away your health and happiness. The simple six meal plan is meal, snack, meal, snack, meal, snack, have breakfast, lunch, and dinner and three snacks, right? Keep it effing simple, KIFS, one of our strategies at Strong Confident Living and stay happy like stay, stay well-nourished. Snacking on happy, this concept that I created is literally bite-sized pieces that I take all day long. And sometimes I need a meal. Sometimes I literally need a whole breakfast, lunch, or dinner on happy. That is when I sit and I play music that I like and I stare at my happy list. I close my eyes. I imagine myself walking on the beach with my friend. I imagine myself taking the ride with Scott on a Sunday in our car. I imagine all the things that are on my happy list, you can too. When do you need a whole meal of happy? No one like that I know is consciously making plans throughout their day the way you would make a meal plan for meals and snacks to be happy all day. That's why I created it. I was like, I'm gonna snack on happy. I'm gonna not let sadness in. I'm not, I know those things exist and wow, I have terrible, sometimes things happen too that make me feel them. Like, like I teach you guys like the ocean wave going through you, but instead of it eating me like the big Pac-Man and I'm like the tiny little dot being consumed by fear, being consumed by self-doubt, being consumed by the pain or something that I'm enduring in the moment, instead of being the little dot and the, the thing like consuming me and owning me, I own my happiness in that moment. And that's a huge practice, okay? So that's the meal, um, okay? That is literally the meal is to sit and be with yourself for five, 10 minutes. That's a meal. That's actually, a, this has nothing to do with food. This is me saying the way I would help you with a simple six meal plan. I want you to create a way for yourself, especially right now, the world needs it more than ever to proactively feel happy throughout your day. So if you are in a toxic work environment, if you have a really tough situation at home, if you are walking into something and you're like, Laura, but the stuff in my current reality sucks. Or when I stare out at it throughout the day, it makes me feel unhappy. So I'm like, all right, well then what are you doing to at least match that with an equal amount of thoughts, actions, and feelings that you can vibe at happy throughout the day? You need to carve those things out for yourself. It is the most important part of self-care. And if you only do it five to 10 minutes a day, that's a start. Because when I first started like practicing this on my own, I was like, who has 10 minutes? Let me tell you my to-do list. I don't have time. Do you know I have three kids, multiple businesses, this going on, that going on, this problem, that problem. And I went right into complain mode and rattling off my to-do list of I can't. And here's my excuses to justify why I need to stay stuck. Those are the voices that go in the corner and get benched. Okay, those are those voices. Commit to nourishing yourself from this day forward with at least this one tool, let alone all my mindset classes. I am going to work on my happy list. I, I work on my happy list every day, guys. Every day. I've rewritten my happy list. I see ones I have from 2018. I love looking at my old happy list because I've made so much of them come true. 
but it is so simple. Like I said, I've done this with elementary school. I've done this with middle school. I've done this with 70 year olds. I've done this with anyone, whether you're losing a hundred pounds, whether you're trying to grow a business, like this is where it's, it starts. And because happiness is the first part of manifesting what you want to create. And it's the final part where you're like, well, can I, can I practice it so much in my thoughts, in my imaginations, in my feelings, in my knowledge that it's inside me right now? Because the only reason things get on our happy list that we don't have yet is because in having it, we actually think we'll be more happy. Again, ding, 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 making it conditional. So as soon as I throw that thing on my happy list, being like, I really want this. I want this kind of sink. I mean, so many of you know my, like some of my future dreams of like, I want this, I want that, I want this, this will make me happy. And then I'm like, okay, Laura St. John, how do I tap into that feeling right now? Oh, I gotta, I gotta look around and not only be grateful for where I am in this current moment, but I have to recognize that that same level of depth of when I have that thing that I think I'll be happier when I have that exists inside me right now. So it's the final step of manifesting because as soon as you can see it and feel it and touch it and you've been like looking at it like in your head, like I've been looking at this sink or I've been looking at this car or by having this job, I'll be happier. By getting this certain paycheck, I'll be happier. By having this kind of relationship, I know I'll be happier. Well, if you are doing those things and making those conditional, but then you're working on those things and they feel really close, that manifestation is literally about to pop into your reality and it will get tougher for you right before it comes. You will get thrown like the dirt. You will get tested. You will want to get those, like those voices are going to like veer out their heads in the biggest ways possible. You will get so many things that are your tests that are going to throw you curveballs to unhappiness. And I'm telling you, you can like get over them. You can, you absolutely can. So your happy list is something that you should make a commitment to every single day from this day forward. Every single person on this workshop should be like, I'm going to at least read my happy list every day from this day forward. I have some of them are, they're tucked behind my pillow. Some of them are built into my congratulation cards, other tools, right? But it's the starting point and it's the ending point, but commit. Thanks, Valerie. Thanks guys. Commit to just working on it, nurturing it, recognizing it, becoming more aware of what makes you happy and owning it and keeping on, especially those of you who are perfectionists or really hard on yourselves, very self-critical or have gone through a lot of hardship or feeling like the hardship right now being like, because I just like, I am deserving of this right now despite all of those things. I am, okay? And then commit to snacking on happy every friggin' day. At least a snack, like a snack meaning like two minutes. Carve two minutes at 10.30 a.m. Carve two minutes, I do 4.44 p.m. <laughs> it's my favorite time. I'm like 4.44, I do a little happy dance. I'm like two minutes, can I, make my, can I tap into being happy? Okay, if I'm driving or running around doing something else, like, okay, where, where else today can I snack on happy? It's flexible, this is your life. This is you creating your next thing, but snack on happy. And I want you from this day forward to go around and like imagine that everything that you're seeing, instead of seeing like the weeds, you're gonna see the flowers, right? And the more minute that you practice this, like I am like, I like, I love little ants. And I, I'm like, if I could get my happiness down to like a blade of grass, then I win. I win because I'm like, I, if I can ha find happiness in an ant or a blade of grass and I'd be like, ah, Thank you. I did that. Ants make me happy. Well, not, 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 not entirely, but when I see them outside, not inside, um, you know, grass, green grass, luscious, like greenery makes me happy. And I'm like, you walk around being like, there it is. I created that. I created this. I created that. And your focused energy on what is things that you like that you're vibing at literally will help you create your next chapter in a much more giant way. With that, yes, I love it. 7 11, 11 11, 4 44. You decide the times, but at minimum, be happy when you wake up in the morning. Don't just look at your phone, okay? I keep my phone on airplane mode for a reason. I play a little bit of music 
I have my sketchbook with a happy list. I'll take a picture for you guys. I'll post it on Facebook. Uh, like you'll see, it's, a, it's at my bed, like it's on right next to my bed. It's right next to my bed. I wake up, play a little bit of music, start with my head this thing, like, oh my God, these are all the things that, that make me happy that I like haven't created yet. These are the things like, oh my goodness, these are from like my 2018 happy list that I have created. These are things that just make me happy and I can't wait to see them today. I can't wait to see what is gonna come into my contact today that is going to make me feel happy. And you guys, it's like so little, even going to a restaurant and being like, oh, there's those purple lavender flowers. It's like, I feel like they're there right for me. It's amazing. Okay. And this is why happiness and manifesting and creating your own next chapter, like all goes hand in hand. And this is why it also ties into you and how you see yourself. Because if you can't look in the mirror and love on yourself right now, then start loving on nature and these other things, because you're going to be vibing happier. You're going to become a lighter person. And before you know it, because everything's a reflection inside the outside and outside the inside, you're going to not like need it from these things. Oh, and what I told my givers that I told you that I drop a bomb is that sometimes like for those of you who are waiting for something in order to feel happy, like, you know, if, if I had a great conversation with someone this morning um, about, you know, like, I just need someone to say thank you and then I'll feel happy or I need this to change and then I'll feel happy. Like happiness again is not conditional about on a thing. So if you're always like, but Laura, when this person does this or says this, or when this appears, then I'll be, that should be your ding, ding, ding from this day forward, that you're making happiness about a thing. You're making happiness about like something that someone needs to do for you, something that you're trying to quantify or measure. And the moment you release that and recognize that happiness is a feeling and the giving of thanks thing, like is a, is a great um, example, because when I help my sons through a tough struggle and, you know, yes, we're, we say please and thank you like all the time in our household. It's part of like, oh, do this, this, please, thank you. But when I really help them like through something that's just like giving them the tools to just nudge their way for them to figure out their own stuff. And I feel, I, they don't have to be like, thanks mom. Cause I feel the shift when you feel other people get happier on the other side because of something you've done. And this is for my givers in the house because I know I attract a lot of you who love to give yourself to other people before sometimes you give to yourself, right? I want you to recognize that, that you didn't need them to do that for you. That your happiness was not dependent on your kid doing a certain thing or your loved one, like them recognizing what you've done. When you can get to the level that you're like, I don't even need that because I felt it. And yes, it would it be nice if he says it, sure. But that I don't need it to, it'll actually come to you even faster. It'll actually, you'll actually be vibing at like not needing it. You'll attract even more of it. So all these things get cleared. You guys, Tell me, please, in the chat, if you are going to be committing to the happy list, walking around differently, starting this moment as a ding, 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 thank you, Dennis, that when you don't need anything outside of you, external, happiness is never external. That's why you're like, the flowers make me happy, but I make me happy when I see flowers, like literally internalize everything. From the, like, even like, I love my husband, I love my kids, but it's like, it's not that they make me happy. I'm happy when I'm with them. It's different. Instead of being like, I need you to make me happy. It's like, no, being in your presence, I feel joy. Like I own it that deeply. So snacking on happy every day. Thank you for like you, treasures of wisdom. Um, thank you. I believe that the world needs more happiness. If you guys are not already inside our courses, please get in, okay? Please get there. I am, I've pulled a bunch of things up to make sure that, you know, the happiness workshop, if you're already in my mindset classes, will get posted here, uh, the recording of it. So you can go in, zoom back into it, share it with others. This one, when you have the recording, will be shareable. It's gonna go up on our YouTube. It's gonna go into different places on our website. And 
if you're struggling in happiness, you know, take some of our big courses that are in my mindset tools in here. You know, the dropping the excuses mindset course is a good one because a lot of people have the excuse of I can't be happy until the blank, the condition. So that's a big one. The body image, again, if you're unhappy in your own self, you're blocking happiness even outside of you. So take the body image course if that's a big struggle for you every day. Um, and absolutely, if you struggle with food and emotional eating and your health and happiness, because they're married, health and happiness is related. When you're happier, you're going to be healthier. When you're healthier, you're going to be happier. So make sure um, you do the, like, the simple six meal plan and that whole course of which is where does happiness throughout your day get sucked away from you? You know, whether it's skill as a jerk or some of my favorite lessons in here. And again, if you're not part already of our program, go to classes.strongconfidentliving. I'm gonna put it in the chat and I'm also gonna send anyone who was on tonight uh, this workshop, I will send you a promo code. If you're not already in, um, get in on the year, literally commit to yourself. We, it's typically $30 a month or $360 for the year. It's, a it's $60 off. 299 for the year. If you come in, there's 26 classes. Okay. That's fitness and mindset. So you'll work on both. And we're doing an additional discount during our workshop time. So if you check out for the annual plan and you use the workshop 20 promo code, so we'll email you this link. It will give you an additional $60 off, bringing the annual down to 239. Okay. So 239 for the price of eight months you are getting the full year of content and subscription to work on this, make this up. Like I, I definitely, like I said, I'd love to do these free workshops every month to give the world tools because I believe everyone deserves to have happiness. Everyone should know about the happy list. Everyone should be snacking on happy. If the world was snacking on happy, we would have a bright, beautiful planet. And I believe that that's possible. And I believe that a lot of the pain that we're all having especially right now, if you're feeling the angst of a ton of it is because you're, you're ready to transform into the next version of you. That is this happier version of you that creates unbelievably. So just keep thinking happiness is my fuel. I'm just going to button the things up every time self-doubt rolls in. I'm going to put those things in the corner and I'm going to do this, Laura. I'm going to roll up my sleeves. I'm going to commit to my happiness and my health for one year minimum and get going. So thank you to all our members who have been part of this, not only just for this past year since we've launched all of our online classes, but for many years inside our incredible Strong Confident Living community of thousands and thousands of people um, getting more strong, getting more confident every single day. Again, here's the link to the classes.strongconfidentliving.com. And I'll put that in here into the chat. Boom. Okay. And then workshop 20 is that promo code to join in on the year. And members, if you wanna upgrade from your monthly or your six month membership into the year, we honor that rate for all of you. You just have to act within the next 24 to 48 hours. It'll show you in the email when it expires. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are awesome. I can't wait to um, hear all the feedback. So you'll get an email, email me back any feedback, me or my team will answer questions and have a beautiful day. Make the commitment, happy list, snack on happy. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Love all the faces. Yeah. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Oh, bye, Kim. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Love it.